Hey, and welcome to The Better Drummer with Zach Covington. I'm Zach Covington. Today, we're going to be reviewing the 22-inch traditional jazz ride from Istanbul Agop. Now, they have not paid me. I am not endorsed. I do not endorse their products. But I have used these symbols for about two years, and this symbol in particular has been the symbol that I have brought to, I think, every single gig. So um, that sort of gives away the review. I like the symbol a lot, but I'll talk about some of the things that I really like and some things that I like okay and some things that um, maybe it's not so good for. Stick around and find out all those things coming up. First, I'm just going to play the symbol like our favorite video reviews do. And um, I am miking this with just one SE Electronics SE8, a small diaphragm condenser microphone, um, just above the kit as a whole. So there's nothing really special, just gathering the picture that way. Here it is.
So as you can probably tell, this symbol works in a lot of different situations, which is one of the things that I really, really like about it and why I bring it to every gig and why I use it on almost every session that I have as well. Another great thing about this symbol is that it has a great crash sound and is very uh, differentiable, if that's a word, uh, from the just hitting the symbol on top. So you can get both sounds and they have their distinct sounds. The stick definition is not lost after crashing afterwards. Now some things I don't necessarily like about this symbol, in total honesty. Um, I can only, and this is probably a little bit of my fault, uh, but I can only really get a certain dynamic range out of this symbol. Um, when I start to get a little louder with this symbol in particular, um, it starts to sort of almost get to the point of, of washing out. Um, from my perspective, at least, it could very well sound totally fine, and it probably does, um, audience perspective. Um, but from my perspective, it sounds like it washes out just a little bit when we get up into the, the higher volumes. Um, the other part of the dynamics is that it doesn't take very much for this symbol to get into that sort of louder dynamic range. I'm playing it pretty quietly and it's vibrating a lot and keeping a lot of that vibration as you as you keep playing it, uh, which can be a good thing and often is. Um, but in the case of maintaining a certain uh, volume uh, on the quieter side, it's a little bit tricky for that. Now the things I really like about it, it's crash is sweet, sweet butter. Not only does it uh, taste that way when I hit it, because that's how that works. I hit, crash the cymbal and I taste things. Um, but it just fits in every context that, that I have come across. Recording scenario, jazz gig, pop gig, funk gig. It fits in all of those places, which is why I absolutely love this cymbal. Another reason I absolutely love this symbol is just how dark and complex it is. Now we say those words a lot, but um, what that means to me is that it's very overtone heavy. Uh, and I don't mean ringy, I just mean overtone heavy. It's a very, you can't really tell what the pitch of the symbol is because there's so much happening with the symbol, um, which is something that I really love. So this has been my review of the 22-inch traditional jazz ride from Istanbul Agat. Again, I do not endorse them. There was no change of hands. I bought the symbol uh, a few years ago and have used it ever since. So I have put many hours in this symbol um, and really can say it is a great symbol. And if you have the cashola lying around or, or are in the market for a new symbol, this symbol is a fantastic one that you could not go wrong with. Thanks so much for watching this video today. If you liked what you saw, you can hit the like and subscribe button so that I can feed my raccoon. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you when you're a better drummer.